Hello everyone, hope you are loading well. So in this video, we'll discuss the first problem of Lead Code Weekly Contest 362. Um, an easy one, uh, but yeah, let's see what the problem is asking us to do. So the problem name is points that intersect with cars. Okay, so you are given a zero indexed 2D integer array nums representing the coordinates of the car parking. Okay, on a number line. Now for any index i, nums of i is equals to start of i, end of i where start of i is the starting point of the ith car and end of i is the ending point of the ith car return the number of integer points on the line that are covered with any part of a car okay simple this is a number line let me just yeah this is a number line this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten just taking some values three to six means the first car covers points from 3 to point number 6 this is covered okay then the second car covers from 1 to 5 so 1 to 5 is covered they can intersect okay then 4 to 7 third car covers so 4 to 7 so how many total points are covered by at least one car this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and that is why 7 is your answer that there are 7 unique points okay let's take this one as well so again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. First car covers from 1, 2, 3. Great. Second covers from 5 to 8. How many total points? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 is your answer. Okay. So an easy one. Uh, so the number of elements you can have is 100. I mean the number of cars. And the start and ending points can be up to 100. So just see the constraints are very small here so you can have a number of solutions that would work here but what if the constraints were something like this 10 raised to power 5 10 raised to power 5 right so a brute force solution would have not worked there right so i'm directly discussing the uh, a solution that works even for the higher constraints okay i'll just discuss that so generally what happens if you talk about a brute force approach so you pick a car and what you will do ideally um you can suppose you have a set okay you take a set because you want to find the unique uh you know indices where you have at least a car so suppose a car says okay i'm occupying positions from one two three so this is one this is two this is three what you will do you will see what's the starting point you will see what's the ending point and you will iterate that okay in this set insert one insert two insert three okay then again you will pick five and eight so you'll traverse five insert five insert six insert seven insert eight something like this okay so in this case obviously you are doing this so that you traverse every point that particular car is covering right now an alternative approach for this one could be something like this again this is a very standard method okay so suppose this is your array okay now this array represents, uh, you know, that at every index, let's call it 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Consider that these are the positions. I'll, I'll make it 9 as well. Okay. I'll make it till 9. Okay. Great. Now the first car is covering points number 1, 2, 3, right? So instead of traversing all the points from 1, 2, 3 and so on, what I'll do, whatever is the starting point, I'll go to this frequency array and I'll increment the count. Initially, everything is 0. I'll increment the count and it becomes one. Okay. Now, why I'm doing so? I'm doing so because there is one extra car whose starting point is this. So ideally, what I want to do is I want to add all the ones from one, two and three. This is what I want, want to do, right? I'm not concerned about the indices before one. So what I'll do, I'll add a one here and I'll not do anything here. Rather, what I'll do is three is the ending point. So I'll go to index number three plus one, that is four, just uh, the index just after the ending point and I'll subtract minus one here. Okay, I'll subtract minus one here. Similarly, this is five. So I'll go to the, I'll go to five, whatever is the value at, at this frequency array, I'll increment one and I'll go to index number, ending is eight, eight plus one is nine, you subtract minus one here, okay? Now why we are doing this, okay? So we are doing this because just see, I want to add contribution of this car from indices one, two, three. So I, I add this one here. Now the moment I take, suppose a prefix sum, okay. The moment I take a prefix sum of this array after I've done the operation for all the cars, what will happen? This one will contribute here 
it will contribute here but the moment it comes here this one plus one will be you know equalized with this minus one and hence what will happen this one is gone with this minus one and this the final effect of this one will be at only only at these three indices okay getting it so it will be from start to end and that is why we do a minus one at end plus one because end is inclusive i want to add that one you know uh, that the 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 position included by that car at the end index also okay so that is why you do this right now what happens once you do all this stuff with stuff that at one add plus one at four do minus one at five add plus one at eight do at nine do minus one you just take a prefix sum you just take a prefix sum of this one okay so that will give you that for every index how many cars are present at that particular index for every index right now at last while obviously calculating the prefix sum itself just find out how many indices are non-zero because if an index is non-zero that means that i have at least one car there now if someone asks you suppose you just extend this problem uh, that okay how many cars are standing at index number five so all you need to do is go to index number five after taking the prefix sum this value will give me will give me that how many cars are standing at this position okay so that is why this is this is a better solution which is able to give you you know uh, answers for a bunch of other uh, scenarios as well right so yeah let's see the code uh, frequency array that, that i was talking about this is the frequency array now i've taken 102 here because the ending indices index can go up to 100 now to make the solution simple i want that the 100th car position is represented by uh, index number 101 so that i just do okay array of 100 now for array of 100 my array size should be 101 but why i have taken 102 because if ending is 100 ideally i should go at 101th position and, and do the subtraction so if i want to make it easy that okay frequency of 101 minus minus so for this index 101 my minimum size should be 102 so that is why i have taken 102 right now just see uh, we are doing what i have told you for fetch all the cars one by one starting index ending index frequency of start plus plus frequency of end plus one minus one minus minus right because st whatever uh, contribution is added at start that should go till end and to negate this contribution we are doing a minus one at end plus one okay now finally uh, just take a prefix sum so frequency of i equals to whatever is the value of frequency of i plus frequency of i minus one now if frequency of i is greater than zero answer plus plus finally we return the answer right uh, so yeah this is how you solve this problem again there could be a much simpler solution uh, for this problem but again for higher constraints that solution will fail right a brute force solution will fail so that is why we have discussed the optimized solution now just one more extension if someone says that okay this uh, limit is not 10 raised to the power 5 but rather it is 10 raised to the power 9 then what you will do obviously it's not possible to create an area of 10 raised to the power 9 right in that case you could take a map because you do not need continuous locations right those will be some discrete locations and in that case you can just traverse the map based on the keys and that will give you uh, the same thing that we are getting here right you don't know ten, you don't need 10 raised to the power 9 distinct position it's just that there are roughly 10 raised to the power 5 positions only but their values vary from suppose 1 to 10 raised to the power 9 okay so your map size will be 10 raised to the power 5 Huh. the range of the values can be 10 raised to the power 9 so map will be able to take care of that as well right uh, so yeah that's it for this solution i hope you learn a number of new things from this video uh, so yeah do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well in case you have any queries related to the solution please mention that in the comment section and i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye